Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another political episode. Today we're going to be looking at Nikki Haley. So another Republican running against um, Donald J. Trump uh, in the Republican primaries. Uh, and not a rhino um, at all, I believe. No, not a rhino. For sure not a rhino. Because she is being... A, a, she was, first off, uh, the United States ambassador to the United Nations under Donald J. Trump. Now, I wouldn't say uh, people that challenge Donald Trump, Republicans challenging Donald Trump, would be a rhino. No, I think these are just people that um, think they could do a better job. Or they just want it for themselves. Or, yeah, like... I like Donald Trump, quote, quote, but I don't, I think I do a better job. So these are kind of what people are thinking. So Nikki Haley, not really the best electoral history, uh, pretty weak in her electoral career. So let's take a look at her history here. So I'm trying to find her electoral history. Um... The electoral history. So yeah, you'll see um, Nikki Haley. She gets into the state politics in her own state of South Carolina in 2004. So she's kind of been in the game for a little bit. Uh, however, there is the Republican primary election. So the first election they were in here, you'll see that... Um, Nikki Haley runs in the uh, South. She runs for the South Carolina House of Representatives 87th District Republican primary. Uh, she is running against the incumbent Larry Kuhn, the Republican. Now, according to this, we have an order for the district to officially nominate uh, the said candidate for this position. They are going to have to need one of the two candidates to reach over 50%. That hasn't been done. So they will have to be a rerun, a runoff. So you'll see Larry Kuhn, 42%. Nikki Haley, 40%. So Larry Kuhn kind of seizing victory by only 2% in this set round uh, in the primary election. Guess what? There's now a runoff. Uh, Nikki Haley manages to win by a large margin, uh, I would say by nine uh, points in the South Carolina House of Representatives. So, yes, this one goes to Nikki Haley, 54%. Uh, here, um, in this... In the actual election, um, Nikki Haley wins by 98%, uh, basically unopposed. Um, there were some write-ins, but uh, Nikki Haley, as expected, won unopposed in that election. Now we're going to the 2006 election. She runs for a second term for the... Um, South Carolina House of Representatives, she winning a 99.5% of a victory margin. Nikki Haley wins re-election very easily. I don't think she was, she ran in a primary at all. Uh, she is seizing this one big. In 2008, she runs for a third term, and now she actually has an opponent, Edgar Gomez. Uh, despite having an opponent, Nikki Haley manages to win a landslide again, 83%. I would imagine that North Carolina's 87th district is pretty um, conservative. I want to say it's probably located in solid Republican area. Well, I can't find it. 
And plus, besides, this is not like a U.S. represent a U.S. House of Representatives map. I can easily find it. Uh, this is it's eighty seven more than 87 districts in South Carolina in the House of Representatives, so it's going to take a little while. But that's not important now. So Nikki Haley, winning re-election, 83%. Um, here. Now you'll see here, having served in the state government for three terms uh, in the state government, Nikki Haley is attempting to run for governor. And you'll see that um, she manages to run against a handful of other candidates. Nikki Haley, Gresham Barrett, Henry McMaster, future governor, uh, Adre Barr. So these are four contest contestants in the 2010 South Carolina governor Republican primary election. Nikki Haley manages to do the best of 48%, but she failed to get nominated due to her not getting over 50% of the popular vote. So guess what? Nikki Haley and Gresham Barrett, they advanced to the runoffs. Um, and these, and here in the runoffs, we'll see Nikki Haley winning a 65% margin against Gresham Barrett. So now, officially, Nikki Haley is nominated for governor. And now, of course, we'll see the actual South Carolina gubernatorial election. This uh, is when we are going to start to see Nikki Haley's true colors. Um, how Now getting out of the echo chamber, her big conservative echo chamber, she's now feeling a little, uh, South Carolina is getting a little divided. She does manage to win by a 5% margin, but that is a very, very small margin that we usually typically see from a conservative. Um, she actually won a margin of 4.5%, very small. Um, so... We'll see. I'm trying to find the Republican primaries. Here we go. And yeah, here's the actual map of the primaries. Haley and Barrett in the first uh, round. Uh, and then here is Haley and Barrett in the runoff. You'll see a lot of colors going in for Haley. But then you'll see the actual gubernatorial election results. Haley winning a margin of 4%. And that's not typically the margin we usually, usually see. Excuse me. Uh, as you'll see, Mark Sanford, he did, he, he was just like Haley. He won like around 11% of the popular vote. Um, no, 11% of the victory margin, excuse me. But you'll see uh, Vincent Sheet. Shaheen managed to flip lots of different counties. He has stabilized the black belt in South Carolina. And it was ultimately, I would say, a win-lose situation. Um, predictions. Yeah, you'll see leaning Republican, safe Republican. Yeah, you'll see mo this election was predicted to win was predicted to go to Nikki Haley, but I guess the polls were pretty accurate here. Some polls were. I would say Crant 4 was the most accurate um, here. And then the last election that Nikki Haley would run in is in 2014. Nikki Haley would run for re-election as South Carolina governor. So you'll see, yeah, uh, she gets the same opponent, Vincent Shaheen. I think he is pretty confident that he can still beat her uh, here. Uh, Republican primary, you're going to see Haley winning with these polls. I think she ran on a post. We have Tom Irvin. And you can see in these polls, there are a lot of people that are saying someone else in the Republican primaries. 
37% of South Carolinians, Republicans, are saying maybe somebody else. I don't know. So, despite this, let's see the predictions. Haley is still likely to win uh, here. And she wins a better margin even before. Sure, public policy polling predicted uh, Xi Jinping winning by 2%. But as you'll see, Nikki Haley won a larger, a larger margin than before, kind of redeeming her 2010 run. Uh, margin of 55.9%. Um, she nearly won... Almost won fifty six percent. Yeah, she probably beat him him, him like around ten percent. On the last time, and of course, this leads us stopped. Nikki Haley is now entering back into politics allegedly after uh, eight years of not being in politics anymore. However, she is coming off unpopular and incompetent to win the presidency. M many are predicting that Joe Biden would win a landslide if Haley is to win this election, this nomination. So what are your thoughts on this? Is Nikki Haley the nominee for 2024 for the Republicans? Anyway, according to his elect uh, electoral history, Nikki Haley tends to be a little unpopular. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next political episode.